Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam LTAM. A club is established with 2,000 members, 1,000 of exact age 35, and 1,000 of exact age 45. You are given mortality follows the standard ultimate life table, future lifetimes are independent, and is the number a random variable for the number of members still alive 40 years after the club is established. Using the normal approximation without the continuity correction, calculate the smallest n such that probability that big n is greater than or equal to that little n is less than or equal to 0.05. And here's the solution. For a life age 35, let us define K35 uh, to be 1 if 35 is alive at age 75 and 0 otherwise. And for a life age uh, 45, Uh, let K45 be 1 if 45 is alive at age 85 and 0 otherwise. Note that both of the above random variables are Bernoulli trials with probabilities of success equal to 4P35, which we just read as L75 over L35 from the table, and you have the uh, value here, it's approximately 8.86. And uh, 40p45 is L85 uh, over L45, and we read the values of those from the table, and this is approximately 0.62, respectively. If we write um, um, N35 for the random number of 35-year-olds who uh, will still be alive in 40 years, um, then um, N35. respectively. If we write N35 for the random number of 35-year-olds who will still be alive in 40 years, uh, so at age 75, then N35 is binomial with probability of success mm, approximately 0.86, or the more precise value you see, and number of trials of 1,000. So it is approximately normal with mean 1,000 times this 0.85582 Eight, eight, nine, and variance 1,000 times that number times 1 minus that number. If you write N45 for the random number of 45-year-olds who will still be alive in 40 years, it's the same reasoning. It's binomial with mean 1,000 times, in this case, 0 0.6, 178, 1774, and variance and this times 1 minus the probability of success. And so it's approximately normal uh, uh, with the normal being uh, with the same mean and variance. Since N35 and N45 are independent and both approximately normal, the sum N is approximately normal with mean equal to uh, the sum of the two means, and that's 1473.64663, and variance 1000 times mm, the probability of success times 1 minus probability of success, plus again 1000 times probability of success times 1 minus probability of success for those two binomials, and that turns out to be approximately 359.504782. Therefore, if we write z for uh, a standard normal random variable, um, then 0 0.05, being uh, greater than or equal to probability that n is greater than or equal to n, is probability that n uh, minus e of n over the square root of variance of n is greater than or equal to n minus e of n over the square root of variance of n, which is probability, the approximately, probability that z is greater than n minus the mean we calculated over the square root of the variance we calculate. And this implies 
um, that uh, this uh, right hand side here must be approximately equal to the 95th percentile of a standard normal distribution, so it's equal to 1.645. This means that n is approximately 1473.64663 plus 1.645 times the square root of 359.504782, which is approximately equal to 1504.83683. Since n must be an integer, n is 1505, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.